This is Theory Time, book five, ear training number three. I'm going to play intervals, and I'm only going to play seconds or fifths. Your job is to decide if I'm playing a second, which is clashy, or a fifth, which sounds hollow and open because it's missing that middle note of the triad, right? All you need to do is write down a two or a five. We don't need two ND or five TH, just the number is fine. Okay, so here we go. Is this a second, clashy, or fifth, hollow and open sounding? And B. And C. Okay, let's see how you did. If you need to hear them again, stop now and rewind, listen again. Here are the answers. The first one, A, I played. That's a second. B. Five. C. D. Two. E. Two. And F. Five. Okay, good job. Let's move along to question number two. In question number two, you're going to hear two triads with the same key note. That means the same bottom note. One will be a major triad and one will be a minor triad. Your job is to figure out which of the two is the major chord. So major is what most of the songs we play are in, major keys, right? That's the most common probably. It's happy, joyous, majestic, regal, all those things. Minor is um, a darker sound, more, a little bit sad perhaps, um, more like winter, a little melancholy, things like that, okay? So here is the first pair. Your job again, figure out which of the two is the major triad. Here it is. And second pair. How'd you do? If you need to hear any of those again, pause here and rewind. Here are the answers to question number two. For the first pair, I played these two chords. You should have circled one. One was the major triad. Here is pair number two. Answer, two, the second chord. Pair number three. Number one was the correct answer. Pair number four. Number one again. Pair number five. Number one again. And pair number six. Number two. How'd you do?
Okay, moving along, question number three is rhythmic dictation. So in this question, you're going to be asked to fill in the rhythms of the missing measures. So how you do this is follow along with your pencil and measure number one. When you get to measure number two, every time you hear me play a note, you make a stem, just the stem. Don't worry about the note head, just a, like a tally mark, okay? So for example, if in the second measure, I played three quarter notes, you'd have three stems in that measure, three lines, right? Um, the other thing is if you get all stuck in that second measure, when you hear me move ahead into the third measure, go with me. Don't just get stuck trying to recreate what I did in measure number two. When you hear me go to measure number three, you go there too with your pencil, follow along, so that that way you get to hear measure number four. Your, your goal is to hear this thing as many times as possible. And if you get all stuck and lost in measure two, don't come with me, you're gonna miss the, set, the second measure you have to fill in, which may be a very simple measure. Hint. <laughs> okay. So you're ready, you're gonna make tally marks, and then you can go back and fill the note head, heads in after you hear it the first time, okay? Here we go, this is a three, four time signature, three beats per measure. I am starting on measure number one with those two eighth notes. Get your pencil ready, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. How'd you do? Did you get to hear measure number four? I hope so. Here it is again, starting with measure number one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, if you need more time to finish filling it in and or hear it again, stop here and rewind, listen again. Here are the answers. For measure number two, I played one, two, three. Okay, what was that? One quarter note, two, two eighth notes, three, two eighth notes. So it should be quarter, two eighths, two eighths. Don't forget to beam your eighth notes on the top in groups of two, okay? Then on the fourth measure, I played one, two, three. This is why I wanted you to be able to hear the whole thing. That's a pretty simple measure, right? One, two, half note, three, quarter note. So half note followed by a quarter note in measure number four. Okay, question number four, the last question in this ear training example is melodic dictation. So now your job is not only to figure out the rhythm, but also the melody. What is the tune of this little four measure ditty? So this is a little different than drawing the tally marks. What I suggest you do is on the first time you hear it is go through and draw note heads, like little whole note circles, little note circles, or if you get bogged down with that, just little slash marks on the notes, the lines and spaces is kind of approximating as close as you can what you think is going on in this melody. Try to listen for steps and skips, and you can always go back and clean it up and fill it in, but your goal on the first time through is to kind of get a general shape of what the melody is doing, okay? So here we go, starting with measure number one. Get your pencil ready. Here we are. One, two, three, was that? I hope you got some of it. Don't forget that these examples always end on the tonic. So this is in the key of A, correct? So you now know what the last note is for sure. Um, here it is again. See if you can fill in more of the details. One, two, more that time. If you need to hear it again or you need time to fill in all the details, please pause or re rewind right now. I'm going to give you the answers. 
So starting with measure number one, it went A, B, C sharp. Don't worry about the sharps, they're in the key signature, you do not need to write them in. So the C sharp was the last note. The new note in measure two is here. It's just a step, right? So from the C sharp, we went to D. And then here, starting on the D, this is what happened in measure two. So hear it? There's no skips in there, right? It's just steps. So it goes D, C sharp, B, C sharp, D. Hear that? It's quarter, two, eighths, quarter, quarter. And another way to make sure is to listen on that last noted measure number two was a D. You know the first note of the third measure is an E. So are you hearing a step? Yes, so that's another way to check. You can always check what comes after the note you drew to make sure you're on track. Okay, moving along. Um, the last note of measure three was a G sharp. Here's the first note of measure four that you had to draw in. That's a step again, right? So you should have drawn an A, hopefully you did an A. And here's measure four starting on the A. So that was just A, G sharp, A, right? Quarter, quarter, half, note. Okay, you did it. Good job.